Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we're going to take a look at three very important postulates when we're dealing with triangles and congruency. So here we're going to look at what we call the SSS, the SAS, and the HL. Now what do they stand for? SSS stands for side, side, side. SAS stands for side, angle, side. And HL stands for hypotenuse and leg. Now, the postures are as follows. Two triangles are congruent if, the first postulate says, all three sides are congruent. So if we take a look at uh, right here, our example right here, notice that these two sides are congruent, these two sides are congruent, and those two sides are congruent. If all three sides are congruent to the three sides of another triangle, both triangles are congruent. The second postulate states, that if two sides and the included angle, and that's important, it's the angle between the two sides, if they are congruent, then the two triangles are congruent. So that's what we mean by side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So if we have two sides and their included angle are congruent to the two sides and the congruent angle of another triangle, then the two angles, the two triangles must be congruent. And the third postulate states that if both triangles are right triangles and the hypotenuse and one side are congruent, then of course the triangles are congruent as well. So here we have an example where we have two right angle triangles. We can see that the hypotenuse is congruent and one of the sides is congruent. And therefore we can conclude that both triangles are therefore congruent. And notice that these are three very important postulates when we're dealing with triangles and we're trying to determine if we're dealing with congruent triangles. So make sure you memorize these and they're easiest memorized by simply remembering SSS, SAS, and HL. And that is how it's done.